In this video, we will cover the travel passengers. Please also watch the videos in the description below. You can also download the condensed note from the link in the descriptions. We can classify the purpose of the traded passengers in three main topics. The first one is to hold the pass together. The second one is to make the adjustment between the pass. And the third one is to transmit the power. We have different types of fastens. Bolts are used within the pair of nuts. And here we also have stop for fasteners, which have the two threads on each end. We also have cap screw fasteners at the as the same as the bolts, but they are used without a nut. The machine and the setting screws, the set screws, are used for making secure adjustment between the parts. At this point, we must define the difference between the bolts and the screws. The bolts are the machine elements, mostly used by a nut fastener. And the screws are the machine elements, especially this one, uh, used for fastening parts, mostly for, to form its threads during the fastening process. In this slide, you will see three different types of fasteners. On the left side, we have a bolt connection. In the bolt connections, the threaded part of the bolt is limited to some point. In the middle part, in the middle representation of this slide, we have a cap screw. The cap screw have much more threads when we compare to the bolt connection. The difference between the bolt and the cap screw is the length of the threaded part of the cap screw, which is longer than the bolt. On the right side, we have a stop machine element. And stop type fasteners has no head part on its elements. Uh, there are many different types of screws and bolt parts. Their usage and standard for different industries and for different purposes. As an example, for the flat part, head screw create a smooth connections on the part fastened surface. We have a straight surface when you use a flat head fastener. Back. The thread representations in the engineering and technical drawings are mostly the simplified representations. On the top side, we have external threads. On the bottom side, we have the internal threads. As a rule of engineering drawings, the external threaded types cannot be sectioned like in the internal thread sections. In this slide, we have an internal thread representation for the holes. If the hole passes through the object or a part, the hole or the threaded is called, the thread is called the true hole or true thread. If the threaded hole does not reach the, to the other side of the part, we have a blind threaded hole representation. On the bottom side, you can see the section parts. If the threaded hole and the threaded portion of the hole is in equal length, we call this type of holes with the threaded bottom tabs. We have many different standards of fasteners. In our focus, we will investigate mostly the metric fasteners in our lesson. In the metric type fasteners, we have the letter M in the, its definition. The 
In this slide, we you can also see, see some schematic representation of the threat symbols. On the top presentation, which is just shown the metric type representation of the metric standards. We have a metric 20 with a pitch dimension 2.5 millimeters. For the detailed representation of the trace, we will use the dimension specified in the standards. For these standards, we will have to figure out some important dimensions. In the figure, you will see an external throttle fastener. The fastener is defined according to its major diameter, the biggest dimension or diameter dimension in the pump. The minor diameter defines the root diameters of the fasteners. And the pitch distance, which is between the two thread, which is the distance between two threads, R is the pitch defined as the pitch diff distance. The chamfer, which is in the beginning of the thread portion, ensure an easy fit option to a nut or an internal thread. In the imperial system type fasteners, the thread quantity per inch in one inch is also a definition of its type. In this slide, you will see the metric hexagonal both basic dimensions. And these are the dimensions within the two different dimension range, which is the maximum and the minimum. In this slide, you will see some thread dimensions according to the different standards. For metric standards, the information is given on the left side. For English threads, which are mostly used in piping systems, are on the left side, uh, right side. For leakage prevention, we use taper, tra taper type threads in the fittings, and these are called in NPT types threads. For internal threads, we must think two steps. We have to first make a drilling, then the thread form. The minor diameter of the internal thread, which will be equal to the tapping drill dimension. The major diameter of the internal thread is formed by a tap or a machining. In this slide, you will see some stand, standard dimensions of the metric hexagonal stump. We have the normal hexagonal nuts, and also we have the heavy duty nuts in this stump. In the normal standard fasteners, there must be a clearance between the minor and the major diameters of between two fasteners, which will be equal to or very close to each other. These dimensions also must be within the tolerance at least a class for C for metric threads. For thread forming, external threads, we use three different methods. The first one is the turning tool. The second one is the rolling tool. And the third one is the die, which we can just create the threads on a shaft part. You can also watch the video links in the descriptions for these external thread type 
creation methods. For internal threads, we have two ways to create an internal thread. A drilling hole and adding a thread with a top tool is the first way. As a second way, if the hole or the internal thread is big enough to, mesh, to be machined, it can be machined on a lead tool, uh, on a lead mesh. To define a thread fasteners, we have five parameters for imperial type fasteners. One is the thread form, the thread series, the major diameter, class or fit for the tolerance standard. And also it must be implied or must be given in the definition of the threads per inch. In this slide, we have different types of threads of the parameters or speed threads forms. The threads are mostly in the triangular shape, but sometimes in the square or trapezoid shape, like the, you have seen in the figure. We have mostly for the standard threads, we have the angle between the faces of the thread is 60 degrees. For power transmission, we use the trapezoidal threads, or which is called the Achmed, or the buttress type threads. You can also find some useful dimensions about the threads in, uh, threads in this slide. As you see in the formulas of the tables, which are given above, here these are parameterized by the pitch dimension or the diameter dimension. The detailed representation of the square thread can be also within draw by using the dimension in the standards. We use taper type threads to prevent the leakage prevention. This is also, this will be also covered in some other slides. In this slide, which is on the left page, we have the metric trapezoidal top thread definition on the top side, which is mostly used for the power transmission type. And its definition is in the TR representation rather than the metric representation as well. We also have the buttress type threads. And here, the, again, their definition is starting with the S standard for metric threads. The buttress type threads are used for high thrust power transmission. We have different pitch dimensions and these pitch dimensions or distances are used to increase the friction force for fastening purposes. The thread size is measured with a gauge and the thread size in the imperial fasteners are mostly implied by the one inch distance. We will just cover this process in the future. For the standard imperial types of fasteners, are the coarse series. If you would like to just in 
use in the definition, we are going to use the UNC or NC shortly. And for the fine pitch series elements, we will use the UNF standard fasteners. We also increase the thread quantities in the fasteners in order to have a quick movement during the power transmission or a coupling of an element. Especially for the cup of the PET bottles, mostly depend on this principle. You can easily open within a half turn uh, and or close these bottles by using this multiple start thread start principle. Especially uh, when we have one more than one start of the thread, we will multiply the moment of the half turn or full turn by the multiple starts of this multiple threads. But this multiple threads also weakens the strength of the bolt. The thread representation in engineering drawings for metric threads, it is simple and the major diameter, which is the largest size, it, and which is also called the nominal diameter. Here, the, in our example, the nominal di diameter is in 20 millimeter, which is the largest diameter in the fastman. And the pit size, which is the 2.5 millimeter, as in this example. For the inch type fasteners, we also have different representation types. The first number, which is given, is the major diameter of the fastener. The second number, which is 10, just tells us the thread quantity per an inch. The thread type, which is the U and C type. And the last one, we have the tolerance fit size for our fasteners. You can also see the detailed definitions as in the slide. On the top side, you can see an inch fastener type. On the bottom side, we also have a metric thread definition. This is also the same type for this slide. Again, for the UN, the imperial type internal thread, which is on the left side, we have 0 0.5 millimeter for the major diameter, 13 for the threads per inch. UNC is the form of the threads, which are coarse in series. And the class and fit series are, which are implied at this point. This is also the external threaded fastener, which is the, if you would like to just normally the rotation of or the form of the fastener, we have to imply the rotation within the letters of left hand scripts. For the thread major size, we use the metric sizes as an, as in this example we use have we have only the major diameter and the pitch size if you would like to just give the fit and tolerances for the external and internal threads for internal threads we will give the capital letter designation we will use the lower letter for the 
external threat. For the threat measure size, we use mostly the tables in which are specified in the standards. Here, as you see, the major diameter is just simplified in some cases, especially as an example, for the metric 14 distance is a not preferred fastener size. These are the fastening fastener size or fat thread size which are preferred. Also we have we can define the coarse and fine threads. Here we have the threads sizes or pitch thread pitch dimensions which are mostly preferred. Of fastening elements and to have a sec nuts and some other tools to make a secure connection. We will use different methods to make a secure engagement between the bolt and the nut. The most frequent method to ensure a secure engagement between the nut and the bolt, we use double knots which are a uh, counter knot and in other words we use two knots into each other to prevent the loosening. We also use some other types of fastening securing devices like the screw setting screws like the figure at this two positions. We also use locking knots and cutler pins according to in order to prevent loosening of the knot from the bolt part. We also use screws and threaded fasteners. As we have mentioned before, the screw cred it's their own threads during the fastening purposes uh, process. And we use these screws uh, as the wood screws for to create its own thread on the counterpart. We also use different fasteners for different purposes to adjust the parts and to ensure a tight connection between two sides of the parts. We use the turn buckles to make a tightening fit for the two different sides. We also use some parts to make the mounting and dismounting by hand without using any tool for fastening or, or this fast, uh, to unmount from the bolt connection. And here, the thumb screw and the wing nut is used for these purposes. And we do not need any tool to disengage the bolt or nut from the connection. Also, we use some other tools, for example, like the helicoids seen in the screen. We use uh, these helicoids to prevent the damage given to the part body and in order to keep the body part clean or without the wear, we use the helicoids to have the wears of the tightening effects on the part. We also use U-bolts to make the piping fixed. Also, we use the hook bolts for anchorage purposes. This is the end of the course notes that we have covered so far.